Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from ExilAutomation.com. Welcome to Selenium Tidbits. In this Tidbits, we're going to identify element using find element method of WebDriver. And also, we're going to use different properties to identify each and every element of an application UI. So identifying element using find element method. So in Selenium, all the application's UI element, technically DOM elements, are identified using find element method. So these find element method is available in WebDriver. Not just find element method will do the job, but by using the by class and their methods in combination will identify the element using different properties in application UI. So right now it seems to be a little confusing. So let's get back to Eclipse and I will tell you what I really mean this slide. All right, this is the same code which we were talking in the previous tidbits. So I'm going to delete some of the codes right now. Maybe I'm going to retain Firefox driver and I'm going to uncomment this code. Great. And so let me navigate to the Google. So I'm going to open Firefox. So I'm doing it manually right now. So I'm going to the Google website. All right. So let's say I'm going to identify this search text box. In order for identifying the search text box, we can do it in a different way, but I'm going to use one of the most used way, which is nothing but using inspect element with Firebug. So this Firebug is a plugin which is available along with Firefox. You can download it from Google. And I have installed this in my Firefox. That's why I'm seeing this inspect element with Firebug option in my contest menu. Else I might not have that option displayed. All right, so I'm going to click this. So you can see that there are different properties for my text box. Let's say this text box is of type input and it has an ID, it has a class, it has a type, it has no value right now, and it also has a lot of other options like styling options which is coming from CSS. All right, so we're not going to care about the CSS styling options as of now. So let me grab the ID part or the name part, which is more simple because the name is just one letter, just Q. So I'm going to take this and to identify the object, we're going to use the find element method. So this find element method is actually available in driver. So I'm going to use the driver instance. So as you can see here, I have created a driver instance for the web driver for the Firefox driver. So I'm going to take this driver dot find element. As you can see here, it says finds the first web element using the given method. Right. So I'm going to just identify the first element. All right. And as you can see, the find element taking the by class as the parameter. So what is this by? If I put dot right here, you can see there are a lot of methods coming in. Like class name, CSS selector, ID, link text, name, partial link text, tag name, xpath, and also there are a lot of other options. Great. So what does this by class look like? So I'm going to just navigate to this by class. It's an abstract class actually. You can see it's an abstract class by and it has all these different methods like by of ID, link text, partial link text, name, tag name, xpath, class name, etc. So as you can see, there are different types of property for each and every control and we're going to work with name. So surely there should be a method which will be used to identify a control using name. So as you can see here, this is the method which will be used for identifying control using its name. All right. So why don't we use that? So by dot name of it asks for the name of the control. So the name of the control is Q. So this will let me identify my control. Great. So now I have identified the control. So what I'm going to do with this control? Surely I'm going to do some operation for this control. So what kind of operation I'm going to do with this control? Okay, let's say I'm going to type some text for this control. Let's say I'm going to type selenium for this particular control. So how do I type it? 
There is one more method coming in along with this Selenium package, which is nothing but dot send keys. So using the send keys method, we can type any character sequences. So here, let me say I'm going to type Selenium. Great. All right. So this should open me a browser and then it should type me the Selenium for this particular text box. So let's run this and see how things works. It should open the browser for me and it's navigating to the Google page and then it should type Selenium. As you can see, it typed the Selenium for me, which is great. So this is how you identify a control in Selenium and then perform an operation with these different properties. So these are the different identification properties which you can work with. And there are a lot of different properties like class name, tag name, link text, XPath. And we're going to talk more about XPath identification in other tidbits of this video series. Okay, great. So thank you very much for watching the Selenium tidbits. Have a great day.